So here is a topic of microalbuminuria, which is often found in patients who, as a starting point of progression towards diabetes and kidney failure. Anytime we do a UE and you find albumin in this patient's urine, even if it is very less albumin, even with a normal blood pressure, you always want to start these patients on an ACE inhibitor. The reason for that is because ACE inhibitors protect the kidney. They decrease the blood pressure, they decrease the excretion of albumin in the urine, um, therefore it, they are very beneficial when there is microalbuminuria observed in a particular patient. How do they do this? They do this by decreasing the intraglomerular pressure within the kidneys. When this pressure decreases, the excretion of albumin through the kidney automatically decreases and therefore your kidney uh, damage is decreased and the disease progression is decreased. So this is a concept in your world and it is a very important concept. Now we know already that it will not only decrease the amount of albumin that is excreted in the urine, but also it will decrease the creatinine clearance by way of decreasing intraglomerular pressure. The ACE inhibitors also do have an indirect effect on HbA1c, although not a direct effect. Obviously, HbA1c has nothing to do with high blood pressure, it has nothing to do with hypertension, but what um, it does do is it can contribute indirectly to its decreasing insulin resistance and therefore it has a salutary effect in decreasing HbA1c, although it is not a direct effect, remember this. So this you can pretty much ignore as a side effect of ACE inhibitors. Um, directly, the most important function of ACE inhibitors is mainly the um, one that it's role in albuminuria. When the patient has HbA1c levels that are greater than 7, you want to, the first step you want to do is advise them to do lifestyle changes. You counsel them and first thing they do is lifestyle changes like diet modification and exercise. Um, especially when the HbA1c is less than 7%, you don't want to start them on medication right away. That is just a side note I'm mentioning because that was one of the options and it's very easy to confuse um, the two issues of albuminuria and HbA1c, but remember HbA1c has very little, it, it does have to do with, it does make the condition worse, but it doesn't have a very direct correlation. So remember, albumin in the urine, you give ACE inhibitors, even if their blood pressure is normal. The reason you're doing this is you want to prevent kidney damage and further prevent kidney nephropathy. This is, again, like I said, a very high yield concept for step 2 CK as well as step 3. Okay.